graduate, uh, you may come forward at this time while we're gathering. And first up is Mr. Tom Trevor has been my uh, partner in handballs for the last several years. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to miss him doing that because we played out the base session. I didn't hear. I wasn't in the way. It takes more than the average bell ringer to remain down there. Most bell ringers will have just two notes along with the associated charts and flat. The cover's going to play them three. And then we often have to help each other out at a certain point in the piece bell, cover one of his bells, and cover one of my bells. And considering that Trevor's predecessor in that position was Jessica Lure, we're afraid that we're running out of the high school bell ringers who are the teacher college and the music majors. So not sure how we're going to replace whatever is that down there. Definitely have to enjoy being a uh, uh, bell partner with Trevor for the last year. Good luck to have one of the best universities in the United States, considering I lived for uh, six years in Nebraska, long enough to catch cornhusker fever. So very glad to be going there for college.
I talk about the story now or just the previous story? Okay, here we go. When Trevor was just um, a few months old, his grandma and grandpa Hollis gave him a book, and that book was taken as a special. A pretty special place. Can I see a little stone spot that you can share with us with you today? So that you may know it's the place that you will go. It's especially appropriate for this day. You have brains in your head, you have teeth in your shoes, you can hear yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down the street, looking over with care. About some will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down and not go to the street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's open up there in the wide open air. Out of the where things can happen, frequently do, to people as brainy and swifty as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't do. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar the high height. You won't last behind because you'll have the speed. You'll catch the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prison perch, and your game will fly on, and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Because unloving yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you can strain both your elbow and chin. You dare to stay out, you dare to go in. How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right or right in three quarters? Or maybe you not fight? Or go around that? from behind. Simple. If not, you will find for a mind maker of her to make up his mind. You'll get so confused that you'll start in the race down long wiggle road, a road at a breakneck in case, and grind on for miles across weird and wild space, headed, I fear, for the most useless place, the waiting place.
success. That makes up. Because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because they'll play against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone is something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet some things that scare you right out of your hands. There are some down the road between Hizzo and Yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go. Though the letter be found. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hacking cats prowl. Onward of many a frightened creek, though your arms may get sore and your secrets may be. On and on you will hike, and I know you will hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know, already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great cat. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deaf, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kids, you'll move out. So, be your name Buckspaw or Big C or Bray or Mordecai Ali and Alan O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way.